Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have another holiday look for you guys, and I love how it turned out. I'm going to be showing you this green eye look with two lip options, bold and vampy, or a brownish nude, which I love the brownish nude. I told you guys I would be doing this tutorial centered around an eyeshadow, which you guys will see coming up, but I mentioned it in favorites video before. I'm so happy I had the chance to film it, so without further ado, let's get started. So starting off, I'm going to prime my eyes with my NYC primer. I'm just pl I'm pl can't even talk. I'm putting that all over my lid and then bringing it under my brow as well to kind of lift my arch. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with my finger. To set that, I'm going to take this bone shadow and I'm going to just set it like I said before. For a transition shade, I'm going to take this NYX eyeshadow and blame it on Midnight. As you guys can tell, I made a huge dent in it. I absolutely love this shadow. For a crease, I'm keeping it very neutral, so I'm going to take this neutral, cool tone brown shade from the palette and pop that right into my crease. Now for the star of the show, I'm going to use the Sally Girl eyeshadow in Olive, which you can get at Sally's Beauty Supply Stores. I'm popping that all over my lid and packing motion. And you can leave it like this, but you know, I'm extra, so I have to do the most and make it more glam. I'm going to take Anaconda by Anastasia Beverly Hills and put that right in the center just to create a little bit of dimension. Then I'm going with the NYX shadow and blending that together so that there's no harsh line. It just looks like it's blended seamlessly. I'm going to create a pretty thick wing with my Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner in black. I'm tight lining with the NYC black eyeliner as usual and then I'm going to go in and throw a couple coats of mascara to prep our lashes for falsies. Now I just wanted to show you guys a little trick that I learned with putting my lashes on. So you guys know I use duo glue. If you guys use it too, you know how messy it can be, which is so annoying. So what I do is I put it on the brush, the end of a brush, and then I apply it um, onto my lashes so I don't make a mess. While we wait for the glue to dry, I'm going to go ahead and do my face. I've already applied my foundation, set my face, and contoured off camera. Now I'm just going to apply a little bit of blush. I decided to skip over my foundation and contour and stuff because I do it in every video and it can get a little repetitive and I wanted this video to be quick and simple. Now for highlight, I'm taking the first shadow from the Maybelline Nudes palette and highlighting my face. Now that the glue is dried, I'm going to go over the lash band with the liner we used to create a wing, just so it's hidden. For the lower lash line, I'm taking all the shadows we used on our eyes, and then I'm popping on some bottom lash mascara. I'm going to line my waterline with the eyeliner, which I rarely do, but I wanted it to be very dramatic for a night out, so I went ahead and did that, and now I'm setting it with a black eyeshadow. So for lip option number one, I'm taking the Rimmel London Moisture Renew Lipstick in Notting Hill Nude, and then I'm going to put the Rimmel London Lip Liner in Cafe Late on top. I did it backwards. I don't know why. I just liked how it turned out. It tones down the pink and doesn't make it too brown or too nudish, you know what I mean? So this is what it looks like, and I really love it. I love this lip combo. You guys know I've been into brown lips lately, so I'm glad I got to show you this. And on camera, it's coming up as an orange undertone, so I just wanted to show you the tissue when I wiped it off that it is brown the camera's just not picking up the true color for the lip option number two I'm taking my NYX lip liner and peekaboo neutral and I'm going to line my lips and create lines for the appearance of plumper lips and then I'm taking lip lens cosmetics with um Amrezy collaboration and Montenegro I'm going to apply that all over absolutely love this it's so beautiful and vampy and it smells amazing very comfortable to wear I decided it was missing something, so I did pop on a little bit of gloss, but this is what the look looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys try this out. Don't forget to tag me, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!